Plenty of questions tonight about the aftermath of a brutal attack on two NYPD officers near Times Square. Manhattan's district attorney responding tonight after some of the people arrested for that attack were released without bail. Even more concerning, it's believed some of those suspects have already skipped town. With the new developments and the DA's response, here's Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim. It is the violent, shocking attack on two NYPD officers last weekend that almost a week later is setting off a political firestorm. Only one of the six suspects charged so far in the assault has been held on $15,000 bail. Police believe four of them, migrants, initially arrested and released, have since boarded a bus to a border town in California. Yeah, Brad, can you me. tell us can about your decision you why you released the migrants? On the receiving end of the blistering, withering criticism, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg, after a conference of DAs today in Midtown, the district attorney dodging questions from reporters, chasing him down the stairs and into his vehicle to no avail. By late day, the DA facing cameras for the first time since cops were attacked. We make decisions based on the evidence we have before us at the time. Our process is to rigorously investigate, identify and prosecute the right people for what they did. The DA says his office requested bail only for Yohenry Brito, the man who allegedly resisted arrest, setting off the melee, because evidence showed he played the biggest role. He's currently being held on Rikers. Anytime there's an assault on a police officer, which is a very serious offense, it is bail eligible and bail should be sought. Governor Hochul and a slew of other DAs did stick around after the conference, adding to the pressure. It was a serious felony and bail should have been set. Why it was not set, I do not know. Meanwhile, only eyewitness news was there this week as the NYPD hunted for the suspects, flooding migrant centers citywide. This was a bail eligible offense. And why bail wasn't asked for, we don't have an answer for that. But the judge also had an opportunity here to step in. We're still receiving additional video, uh, which shows us more of the incident, including better views for positive identifications, much of which we did not have over the weekend. The video is disturbing. But I want to remind New Yorkers, the video is the start of the process, not the end. Meanwhile, when asked if he can ensure the suspects still at large who may have fled the state would return to court, the DA saying there's no evidence of any flight, but that his office is investigating those allegations. In Lower Manhattan, Stefan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.